What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right, so I want to talk about this um, latest installment of Bad Boys, uh, the Bad Boys franchise, or Bad Boys Four, as it's being called now. Though the official title has not been released, but uh, people just generally call it Bad Boys Four. Um, the third movie came out, if I remember correctly, it came out in January 2020, right before the, the pandemic really started affecting the United States, and it was a hit. Um, the first Bad Boys came out in 1995, and that movie made $141 million in the box office against a $19 million budget. Bad Boys 2, I believe, came out in 2002, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, 2003, and that movie made $273 million against a $130 million budget. And Bad Boys for Life, or Bad Boys 3, came out in early 2020. That movie had a $90 million budget, but made even more money than Bad Boys 2, making $426 million in the box office. Now, unfortunately, Bad Boys 3 saw... Uh, the character of Captain Howard being killed off. And um, in Bad Boys 4, as it's tentatively being called now, I think it comes out in July of this year. I think it's July. Uh, Teresa Randall, who had played uh, Martin Lawrence's uh, significant other uh, wife for the first three movies, has been replaced by actress Tasha Smith. Now, I don't know why that's the case, However, I did see uh, some footage, I think many of you saw it last year, of Teresa Randall in what appeared to be a wheelchair. So I don't know if that's a temporary thing, uh, some temporary ailment. I don't know whether it's a uh, progressive ailment. I don't know whether she just broke her leg or whether it's something more uh, chronic. I don't know. But anyway... I think this new movie is probably going to do even better than Bad Boys 3. I wouldn't be surprised if it made upwards of at least close to $500 million. Some of that has to do with inflation. Uh, but some of it has to do with the, the fact that these movies are, are pretty damn good. I mean, it's the closest we got to a Lethal Weapon franchise for the younger generation. And... Um, now I look at it, uh, they're saying that the release date might be in June instead of July. So it's been moved up from July to June. So I'm looking at an article from uh, MSN.com from Parade. And um, this movie was shot in Miami. And uh, just looking for any extra details. So apparently the plot details for Bad Boy 4, I uh, think it may pick up from the scene where he visited his son Armando Will Smith's character, Mike Lowry. And apparently it may have something to do with them teaming up in some sort of adventure role for Bad Boy 4. It may have something to do with that. And, um, it's even suggested that his character, Mike, Mike Lowry, may actually get married in this movie, but, uh, those are just little tidbits, so, I think it's a little bit of audio of Will Smith talking about Bad Boys 4. We play it for you. Yo, I got an announcement. Y'all better stop scrolling, seriously. Oh, this is, I'm hype. I'm hype. Oh, ah, I hit myself in the eye with my camera. Starting route. All right, hold on. I'm going to give y'all a hint. I'm going to give y'all a hint. Oh, that's my jaw. I wish I was you, not knowing what I'm about to show me. Oh, check it out. I'm pulling in. I'm pulling in. We here. Hold up. Here we go. Hold up, hold up. It's about that time. It's about that time. 
that time. It's y'all. official, y'all. Y'all know what it is, right? It's official. That's Bad right. boys for life, life baby. That's for right. For life. Well, we did four. We did. Uh, but wait. it's still Bad Boys for, it's for life. For life. But the third one, we should, well, the third well, one, was, wait, was it, it was called Bad Boys for, we for have life. Called, what we shouldn't like. We shouldn't have called it that, hey, though. It's like it's like the three was the three was the E. The E three was, was the, the E. The three was the. But this is Bad Boys Four. It's official. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So you know, a lot of people like these movies, man. And um, it's just I don't think y'all worry about it. Like, should they even be called Bad Boys anymore? Cause shit, Will's what. 50, I think this year he'll turn 56, and Martin will turn 59, I think in April, so are they really bad boys, like they get to the point where, shit, they need to be looking at uh, getting their pensions and shit, uh, I think that's partially why too, if you look at the movies, um, they're trying to incorporate the core audience, the generation that grew up looking at Martin uh, and uh, Martin and Will and you know, and being fans of their, their craft, but they're also trying to integrate a younger audience. That's why you see some of the younger uh, actors and actresses being involved in this product now, uh, as far as the movies are concerned. But anyway, as long as Martin and Will are the primary t- uh, uh, targets or the primary, they get the primary focus in the movies, I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't like when they do that shit where you know, ost- you know, they, they ostensibly the movies about you know, these characters, but they really focusing on the younger people and, I mean, that's cool for young people, but man, I don't want to be focusing on some 18, 19 year olds and shit, 20 year olds, and I'm looking at these dudes I grew up watching and shit, you know. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Tell me what you guys think.